In Odessa Ukraine only tense looking soldiers were allowed to leave their homes in Odessa on Monday, with the silence on the streets almost audible in this city known for its vibrancy. The first week of May typically brings tourists, barbecues and blooming flowers to Odessa, an international jewel of culture and commerce on the Black Sea. This year, however, it brought a day-long curfew as authorities feared the potential presence of Russian agents aimed at discord and destruction. Monday marks the anniversary of a deadly clash between pro-Russian and pro-European activists in the city in 2014 that killed 48 people and injured dozens more. This year, facing a war as well as the memory of a tragic incident often mentioned by Moscow, many worried they would have to fend off Kremlin-backed saboteurs and Russian rockets, rather than insistent tourists. Many believed Odessa, a key city in Ukraine's southwest, would be a target for Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion. While Russian forces have failed to pose a real threat, city leaders are nonetheless wary. U.S. Diplomats in Ukraine would like to return to the embassy in Kyiv by the end of the month, Kristina Kvian, a top U.S. diplomat, said Monday. We expect to continue to do day trips for the next week or two, and then we very much hope that the conditions will permit us to go back into Kyiv by the end of the month, she said at a news briefing. U.S. Diplomats left the capital in mid-February before Russia launched its invasion of Ukraine on February 24. It moved first to the western city of Lviv and then to Poland. We listen to the security professionals, and when they tell us we can go back we will go back, Fian said.